guys what's going on my name is josh and welcome to the shattered initiative episode six thank you for tuning in with us um we are getting underway in uh icewind dell and we are moving through our adventure quite nicely um ran into some few uh things that uh the dm will describe to you in our last session that almost killed us so um with that being said guys my name is josh and i am a i play traxxas Felbor, and i am a level four paladin oathbreaker paladin Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I am playing Thala, who is a winter half-orc ranger. Hi, everybody. My name is Swanee. I'm playing Dr. Sven, the Death Domain Cleric, and I'll be doing the heals tonight. And I'm Dave, a.k.a. Tactical Viking, and I'm... And I'm Nick, a.k.a. Valen. Uh, I'll be the DM for this session. Uh, last session, you guys found the Elven Tomb where the White Moose was lurking. Before encountering the White Moose, you met a mummy named uh, Sonner. Uh, you guys encountered the White Moose, which almost killed Dr. Sven in one round. Uh, you guys also found a mirror that was a acts as a crystal ball, depending on the moon phase. Found a druid, which you ended up killing. And that led to meeting Frank the Berry Bush, who is a uh, animate berry bush which you now carry around with you. Uh, you ended the last session in Tourmaline, where you found out that the local mine was infested with kobolds, and you now are resting at the Blue Clam Inn. Baller. Dr. Sven, <laughs> as, before you lay down for the night, you slowly open the envelope, which contains a rusted key to the Ramshackle Inn in Lonelywood that you did not tell your party about. <clears throat> And uh, it'll give you directions how to locate uh, where the location is in Lonely Wood. Okay. And it, there's a, a seal from the town elder and her signature next to it, just in case anybody questions. Um, and enclosed in the envelope is a is the deed to the to the inn. Okay. Uh, the inn has a bar at the bottom, just like any other tavern, and six rooms. Uh, that can be rented out awesome. at just prices up to you. Awesome. And uh, draws you did cut out a little bit during your introduction. Yeah, so you know, I, I know. We're, we're, don't worry about it. Okay. Keep going. If I talked over you, I'm sorry. Nope, you're good. Uh, so you guys will rest for the night. Um, draws last session, you decided to play Ding Dong Ditch with an old lady, <laughs> and you ended up with a. Uh, a swift kick in the behind and a swat to the uh, head with her cane. Same lady you tried to pickpocket last session, who she swatted your knuckles with her cane as well as she caught you. And it's a, another beautiful night morning in uh, Icewood Dale. Night morning. <laughs> night morning. Good old night morning. <laughs> Good old night morning. All right. All right. So let's, oh, uh... yes. Night morning. Right, so I'm going to wake up quite early, you know. And I'm going to go around, I'm going to knock on everybody's door, wake them all up, and yeah, let them know that I'm right. heading over to the blacksmith if anybody wants to join. All right. As you step outside, uh, the night, <laughs> the sky is very black. There's no trace of the no, sun. No, not like outside, outside, like uh, just out hey. of the room. Okay. So I don't know I don't know what they're doing yet. All right. Um, so you guys hear a knock upon your doors, and uh, Traxxas will tell you that he is heading over to the local blacksmith. I'm going. All right. Frank and I are making blueberry pancakes. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, wait. We'll drop everything and go, though. <laughs> Roll me a survival check to see if you know how to make pancakes. What? <laughs> you're right. You're right. I wouldn't. <laughs> it's just dirt and blueberries. <laughs> oh, God. I rolled survival. an eight. <laughs> yeah. All right. So an make, eight. A, make an attempt to serve your party. Are literally just blueberries and raw flour. Awesome. <laughs> Did I do it? I was up all night grinding the flour by hand. Awesome. <laughs> it's just this makes... burnt flour then... mess. So wait, hold on, hold on, wait. So you say you didn't rest so you could so you could level, you stayed up all night making fucking pancakes? Oh. No. <laughs> Doesn't take that long to grind flour, man. You said you were up all night grinding flour. <laughs> It's a yeah, saying. You all a cauldron filled with burnt flour and 
Blueberries are cooked all right. They're the only edible thing about this yeah. pot. I'm the good. only moisture in there as well. I'm good. Yeah, I'm not eating that. <laughs> Roz, let me lick the bottom of your foot. That'll probably taste better. Yeah. So, Frank and I are very upset. Weren't you totally totally supposed to be like the fucking... Aren't you supposed to be like the provider of your village? <laughs> right? Are all Just the people the in your village fucking like bone, like, like bone skinny? Like, we eat meat. Do you prepare that too? <laughs> yeah, it's different than pancakes. I again give the bush the finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he blows you off gonna, back. He's gonna he's gonna kind of like <laughs> snuggle up to Thala. But like I told you, we needed moisture in there. The blueberries just didn't work. Yeah, they needed we the needed moisture in there. I told yeah. you, I knew what I was doing. They the moisture in there. <laughs> I told you, it, it, it needs more dirt. <laughs> Dirt makes everything better. Oh, yes! Mud! <laughs> mud! We scamper outside to get mud. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. So, uh, who else going to the blacksmith? I think uh, we Dr. all are. Yeah. All right. Dr. Sven, what are you doing? Um, Is there, like, a miner's guild or anything that I could go? Um, not, like, a guild, necessarily. Um... Mm -hmm. There is like a miners building, but they're not. It's where all the miners just go to convene and okay. like rest and everything after a hard day's work in the mine. Excuse okay. me. Uh, but okay. there's no like guild associated with them. They haven't. There's no like miners union. Could Excuse I go me. there and sure. talk to a few of them? Sure. We're going to do the blacksmith and then I'll come back to you. All right. Guess he doesn't want free stuff. <laughs> So, um, you guys approach the blacksmith. Um, it's not much of a shop. It's literally just like a straw hut standing on four poles with a straw roof. Um, you'll see that there's a uh, cut opening for the roof for the uh, the forge chimney to go through, and smoke is already bill billowing out of there. Um, there's it's really just like an open concept. There's no door. There's no walls or anything okay. like that. Um, mm -hmm. But there is a uh, dwarven figure hammering metal on an anvil, and uh, as you approach, you can hear the soft or the hard tinks as he pounds his uh, pounds his hammer on some newly uh, heated up metal. Okay. Um, and, uh... Hmm. What does he have for sale? Uh, for sale, he has uh, he'll have a uh, two-handed great axe that uh, is freshly made uh, with a uh, some dwarven symbols carved into the blade. Um, he'll have long swords, short swords, a couple of daggers. Do you have any war hammers? Uh, uh, he won't have any uh, war hammers. Um, you'll see what he's working on. He's kind of forming the metal into the shape of a, a head, the head of a hammer. Um. I look at and him and I go, got, what are you making there? Um, he'll just continue pounding, and then once he's, he'll take a look at his work and throw it into a uh, bucket of water that has a thin, thin film of ice over it. it says, make it a two-handed maul. No, thanks. <laughs> what can I do you for? Nothing, unless you can make a, a, a war hammer. Uh, it'll be about. I could. I could make a war hammer in about two weeks. Um, what uh, what 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 properties would this war hammer have? Uh, well, for the right price, I could make it a standard war hammer, or I, I could I could use a little better materials. Um, if you go out and gather the materials and bring them to me, uh, they would be free of charge. But otherwise, standard rates would apply. What would is, what would the properties of an enhanced warhammer be? Uh, as he describes it to you, you'll know that he can uh, make a plus one warhammer. To already have you a, plus one. Yeah, I have a plus one. Good. Um, and for another week and a half or so, uh, he can make it a plus two. Or um, if you give him the warhammer you have now, in about a week and a half, he can upgrade it to a plus two. But then you wouldn't have a weapon. Mm, I would have a weapon. Um, well, I mean, yeah. What, uh, what, how long would it take 
you to make my plus one a plus three? Uh, plus three, it'd take about a month. And Holy about shit. 200 gold pieces. Shit. Um, if I add, uh, what material would you need? Uh, any material do. Uh, the finer metals, of course. It could be found in the mine. Um, any gems you wanted to add to it, I can make you a little fancy hilt or and lay them in the hammer to make them. Okay, and uh, if I added the, if I increased the cost, could you speed up the process? Uh, sure. But I mean, I, I, I would prefer my handiwork be perfection. But if you, if you given me more gold, I can, I can rush perfection, and there wouldn't be any flaws. Can you add any? And there's no magical properties to this. No, I. I am just a simple blacksmith. I can't. I can't really add magical properties to okay. anything. What about armor? The armor, I can. I can increase the durability and the quality of your current armor. What if I found some additional armor, the materials to make an armor? Uh, I I could upgrade. <clears throat> excuse me. Any materials you find, I can add you, add to your current armor sets and make it a little better, or I can make you a completely new armor set. Okay. Uh, well, I am very proficient metalworking. I can make. Anything from leather armor all the way up to full plate, if you wish. Okay. All right. I, I'm good for right now. I may we may, I may be back. Okay. And then he looks expectedly at the uh, other, uh, the other two of you. Um, I'll give you a dagger to work on. Okay. Uh, what would you like done to the dagger? Um, let's make it a plus two. Plus two. All right, so for that, it would be 200 gold. And uh, he has some uh, gems and such that he can lay into the handle. Um, and anything you wish to be carved into the metal, uh, he can carve it in for you. Okay. Okay. And it'll take, you, take him about two weeks. Okay. Okay. And then he looks to the uh, half-orc ranger. Uh, young lady, you seem to have a, a bush attached to your back. Do, are I you dropped aware? the mud that I was playing in. <laughs> and look over. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is my food source. Is it like people wouldn't take kindly to a talking bush, I'm assuming, right? Mm, like people know. wouldn't know. Uh, I just... Know? I, I like I put my arms around the bush, but like my hand is covering his mouth. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I just found a blueberry bush and I have it. It's food. Well, it's a but squirrel, I, see... I guess. What, yeah. what can I do for you, young lady? Oh well I was wondering, you know, um So my long sword is or my excuse me, my long bow is already plus two. Could he add on to that? Like would uh, when fight. they're saying plus two, it would be yeah. plus four. Okay. Or you could yeah. add plus four would cost you an arm and a leg, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna do plus four. Okay. So I'll add two onto onto my longbow. Please and thank you. So you wanna what is it right now? It's one D eight plus two. So you Wait, so if I made four. it plus four, it would be it'd cost a little more, yeah. Well, all my stuff's plus two, so I'll just say I'm good. Thanks. Okay. If you can, like, hot glue some jewels, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah. What I'm is this hot glue you speak of? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it's like spit and dirt, I think. <laughs> A funny term my village uses, I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna change that dagger to a rapier. Okay. Um, and, as, and as you're talking... Is there anything that I can attempt to lift? <laughs> Relieve him of? Yeah. Uh, there's a couple short swords. Tactically acquire. Is there anything that I can tell is like an uncommon item? Like something uh, he's, he's finished? No, yeah. Okay. Not yet. Um, you'll know that uh, by the work he's put into the Warhammer head already, it's a very elegant head. Um, and you can see like uh, the shapings of the long wooden okay. shaft that's going to be attached. An elegant um, head it, with a long wooden shaft, huh? <laughs> listen. Listen. You went there, I didn't. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, damn and navy, see, guys. 
Let's get out of here with this shit. I see a younger younger dwarf working on the uh, the haft, and uh, he he's beginning to woodwork it a little bit. Okay. All right, Doctor Sven, you approach the uh, miners' building. There are currently four miners in there, idly chit chatting and uh, drinking ale, talking about the kobolds in the mine. What would you like to do? Um, I'd like to uh, I'd like to find if one of them's like a foreman, like a leader of the okay. miners. Uh, you'll see, you'll see uh, that three of the dwarves are. Uh, Kind of listening intently to a <clears throat> a um, more muscular dwarf with a very thick, uh, long white beard, and at the end of a, at the end of his beard, there's a, a metal, a very fine piece of metalwork that kind of ties it off into a point. And uh, his mest his mustache uh, mustache curls at each end. I'll approach him then. Uh, what can I do for you, laddie? Well, I noticed that you have been out of work lately. Uh, I wonder if you and your uh, esteemed colleagues might want a little payment, maybe to do a little job for me up north. Oh, of course. Uh, are you here to deal with the mine, laddie? Oh, that we are. Um, okay. The rest of my party hasn't gotten here yet. All right. Uh, and what, what job were you looking to procure us for? So, um, a little northeast of uh, Lonelywood, uh, there is a minor little ruin, um, and inside the ruin there is a um, a moon dial, and there's a little bit of a break in the wall to the western side. Um, there is a mirror in there that I would like procured and taken to a building in Lonelywood and dropped off for me. Oh, uh, and... Uh... What do we get out of it, laddie? We don't work for free, you know. Oh, no, no. I would certainly pay you for your efforts. Um, let me see here. I could make you an offer. Would you be interested in... Uh, how many people do you think it would take to help uh, how, with this? How big is the mirror? It is uh, seven foot tall and two foot wide. And he kind of looks at his crew and kind of like... Puts up his hands. I take about all four, all four of us. Oh, very well. Um, it is fastened to the wall in the floor. Do you think you could get it unfastened and transported without damaging it? Uh, if it's made of stone, or if it's a wall, or it requires mining, we can handle the job. Um, how's two hundred gold sound? Each. Um, for all of you. Uh, he kind of looks to his colleagues, and they kind of like make a little huddled formation around the table. We'll do it for fifty-five gold pieces each. Mm. So, are we? Hold on, wait. Oh, uh, we're not with him. Never mind. No. Um, so that's coming out to a two hundred two twenty. Two twenty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ah, it's a very good deal, darling. Yes, I shall do that. And he'll he'll spit on his hand and. Throw it out there for you to shake. This is how we doors do business. Very good. All right, laddies, you heard him. Let's go get to be it. And I just direct them to where the building is in Lonelywood. Okay. Um, right. And I um, give them the key okay. to the building. And I just, once you are finished, come find me back here. Or uh, have someone tell me where you want to leave this key. Once your job is complete. My name's Droid, by the way. What is it? Droid. D R O W. D R O W I N. Cool. And then uh, yeah. as <clears throat> they'll grab some pickaxes on their way out, and okay. like uh, some like furs to wrap the mirror in. Yeah. Um, and uh, you'll you hear a couple of the doors butter the butter butter under their breath. Damn humans and their mirrors always looking at themselves. Could be digging a mine. <laughs> but no, they want to look all fancy in a mirror. Okay. <laughs> and um, I asked them um, while they're here, um, before they leave, 
um, if they know anything further about the kobolds in the mine here. Uh, we don't know much. We just know that you know, one of us disappeared. Some say he went to the Underdark, which is the place of the drow, don't you know? Hmm. Um, what was the individual's name who went missing? Mm -hmm. That is a good question. I will DM that to you as soon as I find it. Got it. Are we done chit chat? Can we get to work? We dwarves love to work. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Dankeschön. And with that, they'll all three do like a little uh, nod of the head. And uh, they'll hop on some like uh, snow white mountain goats <laughs> and head off to do your bidding. All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to exit the building and try to find the rest of the party. All right. So uh, the rest of you will see uh, Dr. Sven approach you. What would you guys like to do? You Where the hell are you? you? Yeah. I yeah. was talking to the miners, and they gave me a little information on the mine and what's going on down there. And what is it? So apparently one of them went missing, falling down a very dark mine shaft into the Underdark, which is where the drow might be. Um, dark elves, if you would. Um, and also that uh, the kobolds, I don't know too much about them, only that they appeared a short time ago and ran them out of the mine. It doesn't give a name, but it was a human miner. Okay. Okay. Let's go kill some stuff. Very good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's go. Hi -ho. Hi -ho. <laughs> All right. So you guys, um, just a little east. It won't take you much, uh, much travel time at all, but uh, you'll you'll find the mine about a half hour outside of town. Okay. Um, as you guys start approaching the uh, the mine, the wind starts to pick up, um, and it looks like a uh, blizzard is imminent. Oh shit! How far out away from the mine are we? Um, you're, you're about to the entrance. You're probably about 60, 70 feet away from the entrance. Yeah. I would say let's go ahead and just make it inside the mine. Yeah. All right, there you about. go. I don't even see that token. <laughs> oh, that's why. Because... <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are lives from the Black Square. Oh, now we see the whole thing. Yeah. And yeah. We done fucked it up. Freaking dynamic lighting, man. Mm, I, I fucked up, you did. Roll 20, I hate does that, man. All right, so. There you go. Ah, oh, he's in the corner. All right, and... There you are. Ah, cool. So, the entrance to the gym mine is an open tunnel on a hillside. Empty carts are parked near the entrance next to what a crude wooden sign has been propped up. Written on the sign in charcoal are the words Kobolds only in common. Uh, these words are written in a more elaborate calli calligraphy than I wanna what would I want to smash the sign with my hammer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Roll a 16 plus 2. So it be 18 for my strength check. Oh, yeah, you'll smash the wood side. No problem. <laughs> It'll splinter against the uh, the weight of your hammer. Great. Uh, also, can you yeah. show me can you show me 60 feet? Yeah, so 60 feet. Let's see here. Let me reveal some play area here. Yeah, I just I, I have dark vision, so yeah, I have dark yeah. vision as well. So mm -hmm. I do too. 60 feet would be th that much. Um, so as you approach the entrance, <clears throat> with walls and such, you will... Yeah. Yeah. 
So in here, um, racks holding picks and hammers are nailed to the walls of this small cavern. The floor is covered with rocks. I want to pick up one of the track. picks. All right. With uh, yeah. no floor is oh, we covered with no, rock do, do we never went to the store to pick them up? No. <clears throat> yeah. We just went to the blacksmith. <clears throat> we forgot to go to the store, so I'm going to grab me a pickaxe. Yep. All right. Grabbing one. Okay. Before we venture any farther in there, uh, is there? Uh, can I roll a perception check to see what is mineable? Uh, sure. Uh, 17 plus 1, and I'm proficient in uh, perception, so it's going to be a, a dirty 20. All right. So these purple things along the wall are... Uh, do you see them? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Those are going to be all throughout the cavern. Those will be mineable places. Okay. I want to mine. <laughs> all right. Go ahead and roll me some strength checks. We'll do. Uh, how long are you gonna do it for? Um, how long does it take to mine? Uh, per swing, it'll take you about thirty seconds. Okay. Uh, I Just rolled. To... A, I rolled twelve plus two, so it'd be fourteen. All right. You will find four gems of undiscernible value at the moment. You have to get them appraised. That's fine. Okay. Okay. And are we only able to how many how many times are we able to mine each spot once? Uh once per person, yeah. Okay. Jaws, did you want to as well? Yeah, I'll do it. Go ahead and roll me some strength. Oh shit. <laughs> you will find absolutely nothing. Rocks and coal. Is what you I get. pick up a pickaxe and I go behind him and try to mine as well. That's right. Show, show the dirty oh, goblin how, how it works. Natural 20, baby! And plus 3, so I got 23. Alright, you get 2, 3, 5 gems. I rolled 3 yeah. d 4 Dr. Sven, would you like to swing? Uh, no, darling. Physical labor is not good for me. <laughs> okay. Right. So, right. draws... What if you dressed up like a cobalt? Do you think that would help us in this situation? Because you have that disguise oh, kit, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, let me, uh, let me use my uh, disguise kit. Okay. Um, Trex, since you rolled uh, like a perception to look around the room, go ahead and roll me a survival check. I'm, pro I'm proficient in survival as well. That's going to be okay. a 17. I roll a 14. All right. Plus two, plus uh, two. Or while plus looking two around, one. yeah, while looking around for uh, gems to mine, you also notice several footprints on the ground. All right. um, these are reptilian footprints mingled with human tracks, as well as a set of tracks that look like they belong to a pair of giant rodents. Uh, the reptilian tracks fan out, <laughs> leading to several other areas. The uh, rodent tracks. Uh, lead this direction here. Lead down this direction. Okay. I would say okay. So I'm gonna let them know like, hey, so there's three different discernible tracks here. We got humanoid, kobold, and then or humanoid, reptilian, and then rat. So. All right. Which one do we want to follow? The, the rat lead down here to my two o'clock. I say we do one of the either human or cobalt so I can disguise. Okay, let's do the cobalt trail first. Well, no, it's it's, right. it's humanoid, reptilian, or um, uh, rodent. Oh, okay. Let's do the. Shit, I don't know. Cobalt reptilian, I guess. Of, uh... the reptilian will be the cobalt. Yeah, I'd say they have more of the reptilian feet. Yeah, let's do that one. All right, we'll do the reptilian tunnel. Can you please mark and then mark. Because we can see dark vision. Uh, uh, yes. I'm gonna walk back here real quick. And I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Sven and I'm like, you probably should light a torch. Ah, uh, even better, darling. And then I I'm proficient in deception, so that'll be 15 for my disguise. All right. So um, for your disguise kit, we'll roll. We'll assume that you dressed up as a kobold, and then once you encounter kobolds and trying to deceive them, that's when we'll do your deception roll. Sweet. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, looking down both these tunnels, you'll know that they go further. Wait, which tunnel? You said this tunnel right here was the one for the reptilian, correct? 
I uh, they they go down all the time, every tunnel. Oh, so okay. they're, they've all they're right. like scattered throughout. All right. They kind of. Well, yeah, out. I'll just keep walking. Okay. All right. Uh, um, look, looking down hmm. there, you'll find the intersection. All and intersection. Spin. Make sure you guys keep up. Uh, down here, you'll notice that it curves. Uh, I'm gonna get to this corner here, and I'm gonna roll a perception check. All right. That's gonna be a fourteen. All right. Uh, you'll notice that the uh, reptilian footprints go down this hallway as well, like leading the direction you're headed, so s south. Okay. Um, and look, looking up here, you'll see the giant rat tracks. Okay. So we see more rat tracks. This way. Okay. Who's got the yellow aura going on? That's Swanee. Okay. Yeah, because he, he doesn't curious. have dark vision. He has he has light. Okay. He had to cast light on himself. Light. Oh, that's fine. No, that's me. I was oh. checking my vision here. Uh, I'm taking into account walls and such. Yep, yep. No worries. Okay. Uh, do you want to go in here? Uh, so, yeah, whatever I see, because I've got my dark vision, so. All right. Should be able to see this whole yeah. room. Uh, this here is like a uh, plateau area, like raised off the ground about uh, 15 feet. Okay. <clears throat> uh, in here, you will find benches and tables are set up as workspaces where miners clean any gemstones they find. Gravel and pebbles are strewn on the ground, scattered across the floor, or a few hammers, picks, and broken lanterns. Okay. Were there any gemstones left behind when they left in a hurry? Uh, no, but you will find a small figurine of a dog carved out of rock, but two pebble sized. Uh, tourmalines for eyes. I'll pick that up. All right. Uh, tourmaline is T O U R M A L I N E. I'm going to pick up a couple small rocks. All right. And the figurine for future reference is worth 10 gold. Okay. Unless return to this owner. That's probably worth it. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's just, I'm going to go ahead and continue on down here. All right, give me just a minute. You you realize I'm in disguise, right? Oh, that's right. You are yeah, I know. I'm letting him go way ahead, but you yeah. said keep up. I was like, oh, I guess we're... Well, you don't want to lose sight of him. We, we got sight. You don't want to not, or not if he makes it around a corner. <laughs> um, I don't want so to be inside of whatever he encounters. Draz, you'll know that the kobolds around here that you encountered um, in the Ice Giant Lodge um, kind of bundled up in fur cloaks. They have natural fur, but uh, they do typically wear uh, icy, like uh, cold, we cold weather. Mm -hmm. So, um, you'll have that on as well. Okay. Uh, here, you will find that the uh, the pit that they were talking about. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. A human fell down. Ooh. Wooden planks... And struts from a walkway along the wall of a seemingly bottomless vertical shaft. A narrow waterfall cascades down the northeast wall, and the sound of rushing water is loud in a confined space. Oh shit! Damn. Okay. Damn. Well, I guess I'll... So here you will find two kobolds with saws trying to take down the bridge. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna uh, go. What they're doing is they're kind of underneath the walkway, just kind of sawing at the base of it, trying to uh, loosen the foundation of the, where the walkway is built on. Hmm. Is it stable? Can I roll up? Um, can I? Can I reach under and like motion for the saw? Uh, motion what? Can I, like, look underneath and, like, motion his saw, like, hey, let me... Oh, sh sure, you can. Your mic's cutting in and out again. Yeah, Which, it is. I have no idea why it does that. All right, um, so they're working very cheerf cheerfully, and they they accept any help that they get. Okay. So, I'll take that one. Are they stupid? Can I reach in my hand over and be like, give me your saw! <laughs> Is it a big old lion paw reach under and go like uh, this? Just so does uh, does the other one see me do that? Yes, they're both 
working and they'll they'll see you take the saw and uh, expect you to start helping. Okay. Um... And let's see what their passive perception is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend instead of having the teeth down, I'm going to flip it upside down okay. and just saw with the dull end. <laughs> so I'm not actually sawing anything, but I'm just pretending. Yeah. So let's let's see some do slide a hand for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Plus two, so that's thirteen. And it beats your passive perception, so they're thinking you're doing a fucking great job. And the other one that you took this <laughs> off from will just pull from inside of a uh, his coat, or we'll pull out another saw and just continue happily start working. So, okay, um, are they like, so they're like right up next to the, to the wood underneath? Yes, they're clinging to the underside, yes. Hmm. Can I peek around that corner that I'm at and try to shoot them with an arrow? Uh, roll me a stealth check. You have to beat their passive perception. Okay. Uh, I rolled a f- oh, wait with stealth. Mm-hmm. 17. All right, you'll beat their passive perception. Okay. Is that what you want to do? Uh, Yeah, I'll do that one closest to me. Okay, go ahead and roll. Oh. Uh, roll attack with uh, disadvantage since he's underneath. Okay. So that means roll the d20 twice and take the lower yep. number. Okay. Oh, Get a nine. Uh, that will miss. So your arrow yeah. will next to the uh, into the wood, and they just fucking apparently just keep going like nothing fucking. <laughs> they happened. didn't notice. Okay, good. Yeah, they didn't fucking notice. All right. <laughs> can I? Fuck. Um. Can I stab him from above? Yeah, like with the uh, wood with my rapier. rapier? Alright, um, is that advantage or no? Uh, it'll be a disadvantage, actually, since he's got partial cover. Or he's got three quarters cover. Shit. Can I whisper back to Dr. Svetin and tell him that he has a crossbow, too? Yeah. If he wants to try. I mean, we can just end this right now, and I can just smash the whole fucking thing with my hammer. 14? But that could break the bridge, and we couldn't get across. That is just their AC, and don't even roll for damage. As you stab the one... Uh, he will lose his grip and fall down the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be initiative. Okay. I got a 13. Dude, my initiatives are like on point. All right. Uh, Trax, what would you like to do? Um, so one of them's gone, right? Yep. Yeah. How how it's sturdy is each stuff. section of the wood? Um, <clears throat> so it's pretty sturdy, like at the uh, where are the at brace each points? End. Um, there are five. And one which, at which each kobold end. fell? At each end. Uh, this, this one. one. So I'll just go ahead and mark him. Actually, I can just delete him off the map yeah. since he has. You won't, you won't be able. Yeah, to he it. fell anyway. So. He fucking mm-hmm. fell, so. so if I can, I can I theoretically smash this area right here hard enough just to knock him down? Uh, or yeah, like you, baseball bat it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna walk up and I'm gonna give the uh, give the uh, give it. I'm not gonna swing with all my strength, just okay. enough to like knock him loose and kind of like shake him off. All right. Uh, I'm trying to beat off the kobold. <laughs> um, all right, so I walk up. Do I need to do a strength? Is that a strength uh, swing or no? Uh, since you're not swinging with uh, your full strength, it will do an improvised weapon attack Okay. just for damage reasons. Uh, that'll be your d20 plus your strength. Wait a second. I got a, I got a better idea. I got a better idea. Um, how far is, how wide is this? Uh, there, each section is about five feet wide. 
They they were made for dwarves after Can all. Can I take one of my javelins and reach under and hold the end of it and stab him with it from the side? Sure. I'm gonna do that. It'll be a disadvantage. Okay. Since he's got three quarters cover. Okay. And what do I do? Uh, so it'll be two d20s. Take the lowest one. Oh, my lowest one was a 14. So I rolled a nat 20 on my second one. Um, uh, that 14 will hit. Okay. Uh, and then as you hit him, he will also fall down. Okay, cool. Into the abyss. The black abyss. Into Man, the uh, no. Right, oh, Jesus man. Christ. I'm going to move up here. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna you'll look hear... back and yeah, I'm gonna look back and whisper to them, "We got him. You're good to move up." Yeah, um, you'll hear his. Uh, you'll hear the howls of the kobolds for a good ten seconds, <sighs> and then all fall, fall silent. In here, what is what do you see, Mister Draws? You will see a wooden <laughs> pulley system that has been constructed around a large hole in the floor. A bucket big enough to hold a humanoid is held up by a thick rope. Three alcoves next to the lift contain wooden boards and mining equipment. Looks like it's all clear. Can I roll a perception check? Is there anything else that we may be that way in case there's anything else we might be missing? Uh, sure. Go ahead and roll perception. Eleven. Uh, you'll notice a crank next to the elevator, um, and the elevator doesn't seem to go down but up. Seems like this is the uh, first level of the uh, mine. So the mine goes up. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, it goes. Okay, sorry, goes down. I apologize. Okay. Uh, it's a mine, so this is this would be the top floor, and then, yeah. Okay. Um. Alrighty. Should we let Draws go down by himself first, just to kind of scope it out? I can lower him down. You're dressed, he's dressed up as a coal ball, so... What do you want to do, Draws? He could get to the bottom and then be I'll like, oh, forgot something, and go back up to tell us how many are down there, or whatever. Or should we... I mean, there was other... other ways to go, and we can come back to this if we don't and we know like, the way we ran this clear. clear the whole place out. Yeah. Yeah. While we're so already we on the top floor. So. Yeah, we might as well go and clear all this out and then come back if we need to. Absolutely. Yeah. So are we we're not lowering you down? No. Okay. Let's well, I mean, let's clear the first floor. Okay. That's fine with me. That way, yeah. That way if something happens, we're not I'm not like stuck down there. Yep. I eat another blueberry off Frank. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Eat my berries, darling. <laughs> oh, I don't like when you say it like that, Frank. <laughs> it's my okay. It's okay. We're, we're still working boundaries. All right. Better than the pancakes you made this morning. This All right. Uh, so as you proceed down the tr uh, no, tunnel, I want to Romer. perceive. I want to see down that oh. tunnel. Yeah. yeah. Dark vision. Oh, fuck. You guys want to go north or south? Well, why don't you guys go that well? I'm following the cobalt. Yep. Yeah, I'll go around this corner. Okay. Right, and and here you will, yep. In here, you will see uh, the floor in the east end of this dusty cave is five feet higher than the west end, with a rocky ridge separating the two areas except for slopes on either side. Picks and shovels lean against the ridge. Small gem deposits in the ridge and the walls of the cave gleam seductively. <laughs> Can we get a ping? Oh. Uh, so, uh, this is these are the uh, gym here. Oh, so, so down this here little, on this? Uh, this little C, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna obviously hit every single one of them. All right, roll me a D100 and tell me what you get. Oh shit, I don't have a D100. Um, I'll roll it 25 times. Or now I can roll a D. D100 in here. I, I can roll a D100. I got if it. I got to. it. I got it. Okay, cool. 91. Let's go. 91. You will find a pebble sized tourmaline worth one gold. Wait, what? Damn, for a 91. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. An acorn sized tourmaline. It is a flawed tourmaline worth 10 gold. I apologize for a 91. 
And that's just for the one thing, right? Mm hmm So a flawed termaline, flawed acorn termaline. Mm hmm Worth 10 gold. And then I can... Um, I said you got four last time, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got you this... No, you said I got four gems that needed to be identified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. I'll let somebody else go. Yep. All mine over here. Oh, yeah, you already rolled, draws. What'd you get? 56? 56. You will turn up nothing. <laughs> I go over there. You weak bitch. <laughs> I go back in mine over there as well. All right, go ahead. Uh, you will find oh. absolutely nothing. <laughs> Where is the next mine spot? You said how? You said there's four different mine spots right here. Uh, there's one right here. Three, yeah. Three, three, and then this one over here in the corner, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. D100. Dang it. Up there. 58. You didn't turn up anything in this spot. Okay. Uh, you didn't turn up anything either. Wow. Now, looking uh, for 80 or above. Oh, man. You didn't find nothing. Yeah. Uh, you will find the pebble sized tourmaline worth one gold piece. So, wait, hold on. How's that work? I rolled a 91 and I found something with one gold. Sorry, yes, acorn sized. Jesus, you're killing me. 10 gold pieces. I, I'm killing myself. I apologize. There's the table, yeah. and that's all pebble sized. It's all good. Uh, 80. That will find the pebble sized one worth gold. Piece. One gold. Sick. Draws is worth nothing. Dr. Sven, are you going to be mining at all? No. No. I'm walk over here to this Not other mine. one. All right, uh, roll me a strength check. It's going to be a 17 plus 2 for a 19. Uh, three more gems. Dollar, are you uh, mining over there as well? Yes. And that one's a d20 on these ones, yeah? Yeah, uh, strength check, yeah. So I just strength modifier. Yeah. So... So eight. You find absolutely nothing. You find some rocks. Yeah. Uh, Draws as you approach the uh, curve in the tunnel here, you will hear the faint chittering and chittering of uh, rats and the uh, small feet scuttling around. So the wait, floor. did Draws let us know he left, or did he just take off without us? He didn't say anything. He just oh. kind of went over here. Yeah. Nope, so you don't know where he's at, Thala. He took off. I'm running back. That sucks. Okay, so I'm going to turn the corner and I'll be like, Sven, where'd Draws go? Um, I think south, darling. I don't. I did not see him pass me. He went down. Okay. I guess we're going south then. Okay. So as you uh, all approach the corner, you will also hear the tittering and skittering of small feet. Okay. And that'll be initiative. Shit. Okay. Oh, fuck. I got a nine. All right, Ratatouille, you're about to fucking get your asses beat. Question though, uh, my dex is three. Yeah, you got me. Okay. Um, they're not going to attack me, are they? Uh, yes. These are not affiliated with the kobolds. Okay. But I won't interrupt your disguise kit whatsoever. All right. All right. Tracks. Yes. Uh, actually, no, no. I think Tross has your beat on. Yeah, Tross yeah. has beat. Yeah, he's got three. Yeah. All right. I am going to go up. And I'm just going to attack. Okay. 
Uh, you won't have sneak attack. Yep. All right, that'll hit though. Uh, those will both hit. So five on the first one, and ten on the second. So you stab this one right in the forehead, and uh, it looks to be barely breathing after the blow. Okay. And this one you just swiftly cut in half. Sweet. All right, tracks. All right, I'm gonna move. Um, move right here, and I'm gonna take a swing at this one. Okay, go ahead. Twelve plus five is gonna be seventeen. That'll hit. Four plus five is gonna be nine damage. And you just smash this thing into nothing but red yeah. juice. Yes. <laughs> red juice. All right, that'll be uh, Doctor Sven. Mm. Yes. Um, I'm going to take my crossbow and hit the one far down, uh, far down in the corner, like okay. south. Yep. Go ahead and roll the hit. That'll hit. Yeah. That's nice a good shot. shot. That's a good shot. Nice. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Damage. Yeah, Jeez. way to go, buddy. All that You're effort. And... Throwing up those numbers. No, Saddam. <laughs> good job. All right. I run Allah. in. Yeah. I run in and use my longbow and shoot at the one in the upper north. This one here? Yeah. Um, let's measure that out just to see. Yep, you're good. Yeah. So I got a 17 to hit. That'll hit. Okay, finally. Goodness. And... 10 damage. Oh, yeah. You're just going to skewer this one right to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My turn. Um, is anybody standing right here? I can't really see. No. Yeah, um, uh, Trax is underneath. Yeah, He's he up here. Yeah, yeah Trax is there. Yeah, I, I, see, I see you there. I was just uh, wondering if anybody was in the... If you want to remove the X ones... I just keep yeah, I mean, yeah, you can move them like off to the side. No, or it's just a map overlay because it gives me the area numbers. Know, but he's saying if you want to just move the, move them off to the side, like in oh, okay. over here, that way. Yeah, you can move them over there. Yeah, that way. Yeah, that, that helps out a little bit. Yeah, that helps, helps out, out a lot because I was like, I myself was like, ah, I can't even see my token. Yeah. So there we go. All right. So these three are gonna attack you, Mister Trax. Okay. Does a the twenty hit you? Yes. All right. For three piercing and roll me a constitution check. Hmm. Give me 11. 8 plus 3. All right. You're good to go. Third, second one. Uh, 21 for three more piercing. Uh, go ahead and roll me a con check. Um, a con check. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Where my dice? Fuck. That's an eight, actually. Five plus three. All right, I will whisper to you what happens. Give me one second. And then the third one, uh, for a 19, does that hit you? Yep. Two piercing, and you don't have to roll the con check since you already failed one. Okay. So I took a total of five damage. Mm-hmm. All right, that'll be top of the round. Draws. Okay, so I'm going to 
Wait, Move right you, about did you, here. Did you whisper me? Yeah, I'm I'm typing it out oh, right now. Okay. And I will attack with advantage. Eighteen. That'll hit. So seven plus nine for 15, 16. Uh, you'll just skewer this mother. Yeah. Yeah. One fell swoop. All right. Then I'll attack the other one with my offhand. 21. That'll hit. Nope. Uh, for how much damage? Uh, what was that? 10? Oh, yeah. Done deal. Sweet. All right. Then. Is it me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do, 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 do. Sorry. Huh. Um. Guess I'm gonna try to crossbow the other one. All right. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I don't think that hits. Eight. It does not, sir. Ah, darn it. All right. Uh, Dala. <clears throat> All right. I uh shoot my bow again. Okay. Come up a little bit and stand in front of Dr. Sven. With two of these. Right two of these, darling. Two of these. And, oh, I'm within range. I'm going to use my short sword. All right. With the offhand? Uh, this is with my primary hand. So I can, right? Yes. So I rolled a 15. All right. And that is a... That's five damage. All right. This thing looks barely breathing. And then I do an upswing with my offhand. Ooh, nat 20, baby! Ooh. All right. Bam. And that's another five damage. All right. All right. All right. So you guys get 37 experience. Mm -hmm. A whole 37? You mean it? I go up in mine up in this little area that I'm at. Yeah, I'm going to back up a mine there as well. All right. Go ahead and roll... Your strength checks. Can I roll perception to see how deep this water is? I rolled an eight. Is it a twenty? Yeah, is it a D twenty? So. No, it's a strength. Yeah. For the... Yeah. Oh yeah, D twenty. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get it. I didn't get either. Got a seven. Um, you'll notice it, it's about thirty feet deep, and uh, the current uh, goes two ways. <laughs> Well, actually, it goes one way. So it leads off this direction. But uh, you'll notice something here is kind of provi is providing water to this area. Gotcha. And can I see a... Is there just a wall on the other side? Yeah, there's just a okay. big old wall. Um, 
You can roll me a survival check to see if you if you know anything about water. Okay. Or like the flows and currents of water. Uh, you'll know that uh, judging by the current and there's no natural place for this thing to get water above ground. You just you will you'll assume that there's an underground river supplying or uh, uh, supplying water to this cavern. Okay. Sweet. So there's no real way to go. No. Here. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we can head back to the fucking pale. Yeah. You all can lower me the hell down. Great. <laughs> fucking solid plan. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Yeah. <laughs> Thank me for my service. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn straight, bitch. The only way I'm going to go down is if I get that war. You get, get that. What? Give me that war hammer. Yeah, I can't even carry it, bitch. Yeah, I can. It's just a two-handed weapon. Um, I sent you a link. Oh, okay. Copy. Check with the uh, with the with the information you wanted. All right, copy. You ain't getting my fucking warhammer, bitch. Deal with it. <laughs> then I'm not going down. All right. The fuck so, you're not. I'll who's your cranking ass in that shit? I'm not even in the pail. Yet. I will fucking pick you up and stuff your ass in that fucking pail. Then I'll just get out. Draws, would you please go down? We can discuss the Warhammer later. No, you the fuck you can't. <laughs> I might need a bow. He takes my Warhammer, I'm burning Frank. You know, I think Dr. Sven has a bow. If no, you need he has one. A stick that has no string on it. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> okay, fine. Give me Frank and we'll go down. Wait, no! <laughs> Why? I will never. He's my little buddy. A mouthy bush. You want to try and be secret? Hey, where'd you get the bush? Ah, uh, this is my friend. <laughs> Fine, fucking hold me down. <laughs> Damn it. I can give you some blueberries, though. I don't want those. As you're being lowered down, draws, you'll just see like several blueberries just kind of roll off the edge. One like yeah. the head. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing them down. <laughs> oh, so it's uh uh Valen, it's at will then. Uh yes, but the uh the first time is not at will. Okay. That's fine. Okay. And then that just lasts while it's why the moon is well, up, correct? Yes. Okay. And then you'll be able to at will transfer over to yeah. Copy. So Okay. Oh. Alright, show me All what right. kind of shit I got into. So mm-hmm. you're over here. Bam. <clears throat> so, uh, the mechanism creaks as the bucket lifts. The bucket lift descends to the floor of a small cave where two dusty tunnels lead in opposite direction. And I'll drag your t- I'll drag your token. Drag that token. There you go. You already had it for me. All right. All right. And I, like I, I yield down to him. Is it clear? Uh, I'm just going to climb down the rope if it is. Fuck, I'm just going to pretend I don't hear him. <laughs> so I'm going to venture <laughs> off right here. Okay. All right. Uh, roll me a survival check. Oh, shit. Mm, no. We're just going to wait up here. He hasn't replied back, and we lost Lindsay. Here she is. Welcome 18 back. sounds good. All right, you'll notice. Hello. Um, you will notice that a single set of cobalt footprints leads to the east, the direction you're going. And um, you can determine that there's a lot of foot traffic that comes through here. Okay. From the west. And only a single set going to the east. Okay. What do I see? That was a good question. What do you see? <laughs> do you see what I see? I'm just about to... <laughs> it's gonna be a musical D and D. I mean, we're just waiting come... here. We're waiting on him to let us know. So, so I'll come back down this way. 
let me reveal that area since you have 60 feet and you can pretty much just see everything and then you'll see okay yeah i'll then i'll yell up to him that it's clear all right i'm gonna climb down on the rope go ahead and use a strength check to climb down or survival check or whatever uh you can do a strength check we'll say how the, far uh, it down you said it was 30 feet down about 30 feet yeah okay okay yeah i got i got a 15. I, I would like to, climb yeah, once he gets to about 10 feet off the ground, I want to start shaking the rope. <laughs> <laughs> Roll another strength at disadvantage to see if you keep. <laughs> Fuck, I got a three. <laughs> three plus two, so I got five. You lose your grip, and you will take one point of falling damage. Wait, so if he's shaking the rope, he's underneath me, I fall on him. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, drive. No, I'm smart enough he to get out of the roll, way. How do you know he when can I roll fall? acrobatics to see? He can yeah, roll, roll acrobatics, acrobatics to see if he gets out of the way. Yeah, roll acrobatics to get out of the way. Okay. Oh, good. Plus five. And a proficient. <laughs> 26. Right. You will see him. You will let out an evil giggle as you see him fall. And you will nimbly. What a motherfucker, right dude. Directly on top of you. you. You'll just see him plant next to you. Yeah. As soon as he looks at me, he's just, Ole! <laughs> Ole! I look to Dr. Sven. Do you want to just bring the bucket back up? Uh, yeah, get on that yes. rope. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, darling, I don't know if I should be the one to crank it. Physical is not my forte. Well, yeah, oh. we bring it up. You can get down. I'll crank it. And then the fucking cuck. you'll have to make sure. <laughs> That's good. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. All right, we bring it back up, and then Dr. Sven gets um, in the bucket. Bring Dr. Sven and Allah, you'll hear a loud thud, and then several curse words come from Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll hear oh, he's the, a bad snapping kitty. Of, the snapping of two goblin figures. Just... <laughs> oh, <look. laughs> oh, okay. Jeez. So I have to roll strength to get Dr. Sven down? Uh, no, you'll be able to crank him down. Um, okay, perfect. You'll have to uh, roll strength to get yourself down, though. Okay. So Dr. Sven <laughs> gets down. And then I, like, fireman slide down the... Down the rope. All right, roll me... Uh, <sighs> that'll actually be athletics. Oh, will it be perfect? Yeah, it'll be athletics. So okay. Sliding down instead of climbing down. Right back. 17. Hey, you'll be fine. Sweet. All Can right. I do like a gymnast end? Try <laughs> get off like the little. <laughs> sure. So I'll move down this Sweet. way. All right. Uh, moving down that tunnel. You didn't inspect anything up in that. Up uh uh. I just wanted to make yeah, like sure there was nothing idea. enemy wise immediate. Okay. Should be able to see pretty much all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 60 you'll feet. See, you don't see into the room, but you'll make out that there's yeah. a cavern there. All right. I'll just right. come to the mouth of the room. All right. Speaking around, uh, a table and chairs are set up in this area to create a space for the miners to take breaks. On top of the table, two kobolds are poking a giant rat with their javelins to make sure it's dead. Kobolds screech loudly as they notice you. All right. Can I do the same screech? Can I just like mimic, mimic, blah, 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 mimic the screech and yeah, just uh, come over and start poking it with my yeah. dagger? Yeah, just roll deception. <laughs> you have to beat their passive perception, which is pretty fucking Follow, low. Move your token. Plus two, eighteen. Hmm? Move your token. I don't have. It's not down here yet. Oh yeah, I don't you have, have to move it. it. You have to drag it over. You have to move it. I got her. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I, I was like, it's not on this map yet. <laughs> no, it's on the same map. You just had to drag it over to the right. And uh, yeah. you, you guys all three screech at each other and are now poking a dead rat. Sweet. <laughs> Crack and small. I look in there and I go, he's a goblin! <laughs> I elbow you really hard on the side. Which probably doesn't feel like much, but... One will perk up his ears, and, uh... I attack him. Okay. 
<laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> Zero hesitation. <laughs> Draws this character is really growing on me. <laughs> 14. Uh, I believe that'll hit. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. So that should be sneak attack? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. Is that your damage right there already? Yeah, 7 plus Oh yeah, the ten. one that perked up his ears, it, you just... <laughs> before he could even freaking say a word, and then this one will run down the cavern to the north. That was to the and south? disappeared. Oh, you took him away. Gotcha. Yeah. So I don't get a chance to attack him as he leaves with my offhand? Opportunity uh, no. attack? No. If he, he runs past him. It's part uh, of the story. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going right to come right here and I'm going to mine. Kobolds have, uh, kobolds are like goblins. They have nimble escape. Oh, they have disengage. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they have got it. Nimble escape or whatever it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, okay. Well, I'm out of my uh, costume. Roll 20. <laughs> or is this a d20? For, oh, oh yeah. Go ahead. Hey, go He's ahead. being greedy. <laughs> 16. Uh, you'll find one gemstone. Okay. Oh, and he's, yeah, he gone. He dead. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna saw off all these arms and legs. <laughs> okay. A roll me survival tag. And just, yeah. I don't really want any of it. I just want to do it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Just to prove a point. Just, yeah, just autopsy it. Just <laughs> Y cut. Uh, I'm going to roll a perception check for the room. All right, go ahead. I just kind of want to taunt on him. 14. <laughs> um, you won't find anything of uh, value in here. Um, just some like discarded like wooden plates and. Anything mineable? Mug. No, nothing mineable in here. Um, this little alcove here has like one little mining spot. Okay. Over here, I'm going to mine. Yeah, 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 go ahead. That's going to be an 18. You'll find... Three gemstones. As he's picking them up, I want to roll slide a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Plus right. two, which would be 21. Roll perception. For what? No, me. A hip. Oh. You, you got to beat a 21. <laughs> I'm proficient in uh in whatchamacallit in uh, perception and I actually rolled an eighteen, so that gives me a three. So I tie it twenty one twenty one. Alright. Uh I don't know what happens. I think tie deception. I'll just do we'll we'll do it the uh, yeah, I don't know how. Uh we'll do a I'll do this. I'll do this. Twenty v twenty. Twenty v twenty. And whoever has the highest Decide what happens. Yes, yeah, decides what happens. Okay. We'll decide it with the roll. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding oh, me. Wow. Ah. <laughs> so, Draws, as Trax is mining this stuff, and uh, you'll see that he has like a little open pouch <laughs> that he's stuffing his gemstone into, and you just take your pouch and hold it in front of his as he's just <laughs> stuffing gemstones into your pouch. So we, dump, so we dump three gems into mine. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking agent. I'm a thief. Thief. Fuck you, pick on me for. I, he he told you out in so many situations. Because he didn't steal anything from you, you stuffed him in his pouch. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Unintentionally. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's great. Oh, that was classic. <laughs> Beautiful, oh, really. It's like walking into an Air Force dining facility and stealing all the deviled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's what they all say, too. All right, yeah. let's go. Come on. I know, I did it. Sorry. All right, I, so I'll, yeah, I'll just keep moving. All right. Sorry, he needs the gem to buy a mic that actually works. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, that's funny. Oh. You'll just uh, see. You need to find me more gems to 
by you'll my see, uh, several alcoves, uh, and you'll see that the path kind of gets narrower as it leads, to, uh, and the path instead of going straight, starting to lead down into like another level. Okay. I'm gonna stop right here. So <laughs> Good. Tink. Seventeen plus Tink. two is gonna be nineteen. All right. You'll find four gems. Want to do it over there too? Yep. All right, go ahead. I don't know. I didn't get that one. I got four plus two, six. Oh, that was a good roll too. All right. What would you guys like to do? I guess go down to the next level. Okay. Yep. Um, you still have this. You still had this area over here that you didn't check out. No, we don't know about that. Oh, uh, Draws does. Oh, I do. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I, I guess I'll leave it to you guys. We can either go down, or there was a. What'd you see over there? There was a big opening. So, I mean, it looks like it might have gone somewhere. Do you want to check that out before we go down through the doors? Uh, yeah, we probably should because we have to clear this place. So. It's probably kind of like a. Okay. We have to clear everything, so. Okay. Yeah, we'll just make our way back over here. I'm gonna mine really quick. <laughs> Go ahead. Eleven. <laughs> uh. You'll get. You'll find a gym. Okay. Uh, let me know the total after we return yep, to town. And uh, okay, I'll, I'll roll. I've got a table I can roll from. Okay. Alright, so, so in here. I want to roll a perception check while we're in here real quick. Okay. <laughs> 18 plus 3 is 21. Alright. There's a hole in the west side of this chamber. It opens up into a central shaft. So, just like you saw above ground, or uh, on the first level. Okay. You'll see the giant hole. Okay. And anything uh, in here worth my anything in here mineable? Give me one second. Let me finish describing the room and oh, I'll sorry. point some stuff out. The floor on the north of the end of the cave is five feet higher than the south end, with the rocky ridge separating them from the slope on either side of the top of the ridge. The walls above the ridge gleam with gem deposits. So uh, the walls over here. Okay. Um. Uh, what's everybody's passive perception? Pass. Uh, 13. Okay. 11. Oh. Perception. Um, passive It'll be right perception. under your saving throws. Left side. Uh, passive four. perception. Four. Yeah, so I have plus three. No, 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 down below that, next one below. The It's the second box for senses. Oh, got it, 13. There you go. All right, nothing happens. Uh, what would you guys like to do? I want to mine. <laughs> do we need D100s? Uh, yes. What would everybody else like to do? We'll get to you in just a second. Yep. Um, just want to wait around. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go on the south side um, of Draws over in this little area. Okay. Um, I'll mine as well. Alrighty. Jeez. Go ahead and, uh... I didn't get anything. Yeah, I didn't yeah, get anything either. Okay. Move up here. Uh, you'll... Yeah, you'll be able to do uh, two more times. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing either time. Sick. Ah, dang. Yep. And then here's the last <laughs> time. Jesus Christ. I'll do it once. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, fuck this. All right. We'll make our way back to the... All right. Okay. So Make our way downtown? What? Yeah. Uh, Dala, go back. Since you were the last one. Leaving. Go back to that room. Oh.
Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this thing hits you. Does an 18 hit you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. You'll take uh, four piercing and roll, okay. me a roll me a constitution saving throw. Yeah, that's uh... 18. All right. So as your party members leave and uh, as you're finishing up your mining, mining and turning to leave, uh, you will see a brain with a uh, bird-like beak and several tentacles uh, try to wrap themselves around you. Um, huh! It hits you, but nothing else happens, and it'll start to uh, it'll start to uh, start to float away back to the ceiling. Can I try to slice at it with my with my short sword? Sure. Okay. I didn't hit it. It's a. I got a five. Yeah. All right. Um. It also has a beak attack. I didn't realize. So, uh, four. Well, a twenty-two will hit you. Correct. Okay. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, it will. Eight, eight piercing as it bites you with its beak as well. And uh, it'll start floating back up to the ceiling, disappearing into the uh, darkness above. Well, I'm back. Uh, you broke up really bad there. Oh, I just, I told it bye and then ran off. <laughs> yeah, she leaned too far back away from her mic. Okay. A lot nicer when you can move your token around, huh? <laughs> All right. I just had to figure out uh, how to give her permissions, and I figured it out, so. Yeah, no, you're good. I know it's a fucking pain. I know I get fucking aggravated when shit don't work right. Yeah, so that is where you guys will end up, going through that cavern there. Okay. Hell yeah. And I actually like this little effect that I can, like, I, I can shift, hold left click, and it'll drag you guys to where I want you guys to see. I gotcha. Oh. All right. Yes, ma'am. Would you? Did you say anything? Oh, no! I just said oh. Okay. It's it's one big giant map. I thought it was different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got all it. All maps are included. All set levels are included yep. in one map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sick. All right here, you'll find oh fuck, the giant cavern, where it's been just fucking going completely down and it goes even further than this uh, the tunnel's downward slope ends where it opens to the center shaft a wooden walkway extends from this opening and then runs westward to another tunnel on the rock in front of you a large bucket like the one you saw earlier dangles from the top rope and then stretches outward across the shaft and is connected to another wooden platform 15 feet away Hey guys, or well, I tap Doctor Sven on the shoulder and say, "Hey, dude, I'm I'm pretty hurt right now." <laughs> you don't um, so well. Yeah, some stuff happened. I was wondering if I could get like a little healing. I don't know, just like some, sure, like ten, maybe if I'm possible. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to burden you. <laughs> there you go, darling. Oh, and he rolled exactly 10. Sick! <laughs> I'm almost fully healed. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome, Daddy. I think my insurance is on file. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is this great? Oh, another weird word my village uses. I'm sorry. Alright. Alright. I guess I'm gonna move to the end of the... Yeah, I'm right behind you. Alright, so here... Uh, one second. Thala, go back, since you were the last one to leave. 
at like the same uh, time as Doctor Sven. <laughs> you were the last token. Uh, last so token good. to move. Uh, you will see this thing again come up to you. God damn it, man! And you didn't even inform Doctor Sven. I'm no. disappointed. I'm so disappointed in you. Uh, so a twenty will hit you. <laughs> oh yeah. For four piercing, um, but roll me a Constitution. Oh no! Oh no! Five. Oh no! That's what I wanted. Oh, it, no. All right. Psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you see, Doctor Sfid turn the corner as you go to follow him this uh, brain beak tentacle thing attacks you again and as it wraps its tentacles around your throat and around your body you are unable to move your arms and legs you're even unable to turn your head your throat you try to speak but your throat closes and no words come out as this thing wraps around you and starts to drag you back uh, down the tunnel and we'll oh. go in a Frank ain't really pulling his weight right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm in a tunnel. Uh, what do you want Frank to do? I'll bite the thing. Something. Frank can't yell at him. At least be snarky. <laughs> be an asshole in my name. <laughs> All right, this place got you by the dimly, don't it? <laughs> Everybody, roll me a perception. Oh shit! I don't think shit. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen plus four. Uh, Doctor Sven and Draz, you will hear uh, Frank the boot, <laughs> the berry bush go. Oh, this thing's got you by the jimblies, don't it? <laughs> and you will no longer oh, see Thala. I guess I guess if I roll it on my d twenty, <laughs> you will no longer see Thala. That's all they hear. <laughs> Here. That's all they hear. <laughs> oh, perfect way for me to go out, though. <laughs> Honestly, uh, 10 out of 10. Uh, this will <laughs> go back to where you guys were. We'll go off initiative order here. Okay. Because this thing has uh, technically grappled her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to go off initiative order here. So yeah. she can make her escape rolls and all that. Gotcha. So roll. <laughs> Oh, right now? Roll initiative. Mm -hmm. Oh. 21. Now I can fucking roll. <laughs> now that you're fucked. Right. <laughs> this is really cool, though. You think this is cool? <laughs> I think it's cool. <laughs> you, you literally just got turned into tentacle porn. <laughs> Dude, sick. All right, so... <laughs> um go ahead and make me a uh da, 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 da. strength check to see if you can break the grapple. Five. Nope. Nope. You come across I if you get dragged into a tunnel where there's a mandingo, I'm out. <laughs> um all right, so it's going to drag her. Back down the tunnel. Down this hallway. And uh, you can hear Frank's snarky comments getting further and further away from you guys. Jesus. The fuck are we going to catch that thing? It's only got a move speed of 30 feet. He moved like 60 feet. I only moved to 30. No, it's here uh, at the bottom of the tunnel. That's yeah. right. Okay. So yeah. here. Okay, so here. obviously we yeah, know that she's be like being right. held right now. Uh, you don't know exactly what happened to her. Yeah. It's just that Thala is missing, and you can hear Frank the Berry Bush's snarky comments. Okay, so then... <laughs> Thank God for Frank. <laughs> he draws us up. I love you, Frank. draws us up. Uh, yeah, that would be uh, Draws' turn. I apologize. And then Dr. Sven, you're on deck. Um, 
Fuck, I don't know. What can I see in front of me? Is this just a wall to my... Um, in front of you, you will see... A long tunnel with some more kobolds. Uh, I'll give you a description. Lurking in the dusty tunnel are three skittish kobolds. One of them carries a threadbare satchel and wears a fake pair of dragon wings that are made of thin wood and tattered white cloth. The <laughs> kobold immediately raises its hand and surrender, saying in common, We mean you no harm! Please don't hurt us! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn back to them and be like, Go see where Thal is. I'll handle these guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna walk over here and just pretend I'm in charge. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Doctor Sven. Uh, I'm gonna sprint uh, full movement. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five will bring you to the tip of this tunnel here. Okay. Uh, 30, 35, 40. And you will see this brainy, beaked tentacle figure dragging Thala down the uh, down the hall here. What does Frank say? Frank says, about time you showed up! <laughs> but Where's the doctor? Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> but yes, darling. <laughs> Yeah, I am. <laughs> and because I double movement, I probably don't have anything left right now. You don't have it. You have a bonus action, but not a uh, free action or not a actual action. Oh, so a bonus action. What the heck can I do with that? Um... Just take your time. We got all day. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not sure what I can do with a bonus. Like, a bonus action would be what? Like, I'm pretty sure some of your spells are bonus actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know druids have, like, rapport spores and stuff like that. They're bonus uh... actions. So, don't worry, darling. I'm pretty sure he'll be with you in a minute. He's just thinking a little bit. Uh, you know how I'm the doctors gonna, are. I'm going to cast uh, Healing Word on her. Okay. Because uh, it's the only bonus action spell I have. He's got to speak uh, some words to you, kid. Don't worry, you'll be fine. And heals her for six points. <laughs> All right. The good doctor gave me his diagnosis. You're probably going to be eaten, but it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm looking real healthy right now. I just can't talk or move. Right. Uh, you're so. under the condition of paralyzed. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to let Dr. Sven know how I look so he doesn't keep trying to heal me. <laughs> yeah. The kid, she can't speak. She can't walk. She can't move. You know the good stuff. You're a doctor. I'm pretty sure you can figure this out. <laughs> I'm so proud that Frank is my voice right now. <laughs> All right. Now that we... Trax's turn. I move 70 feet. All yeah. right. Are you going to block it off? Yeah. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> Miss Thala, go ahead and roll me a uh, strength check. Actually, roll I'm sorry. I'm going to move 65 Well, feet. I'm paralyzed. All right, you're trying to escape the grapple, and if you escape the grapple, you're no longer paralyzed. This is what the... Uh... I got 22. All right. So what you guys Sick. see is that... Uh, Frank the berry bush and his infinite courage will uh, shake the tentacles. You see these? These are holding it tight. And as he shakes some of them, uh, it'll loosen its grip and drop Thala right on the floor. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> oh, I didn't even mean to do that. I should have done that to begin with. <laughs> and he'll just drop it's from the... the... Counts. <laughs> he'll drop from the uh, tentacle brain thing. At, right on top of you. Now this thing's not big, right? It's just a brain with a beak and tentacles. Yeah. It's yeah. not giant. Okay. Um, it's gonna go ahead and try to attack with its tentacles on tracks. Um, does a fucking thirteen hit you? No. 
<laughs> All right, the beak attack does an 18. No, I mean, it ties. Ah, okay. uh, then yeah, it'll hit. So it does hit you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you'll take two, three, five piercing as it bites you. All right, and that'll be draw, uh, draws his turn. All right, um. I am going to call the unnamed Cobalt over and have a conversation with him and Trex and say that I got word that there is somebody down here impersonating a Cobalt and Zerk is looking real sus for (laughs) And I saw him I saw I saw him pocket a jewel which you know, I don't. We don't dig around here. So I'm gonna order them to go and attack him. Uh, my, I right. fucking kill that guy. <laughs> We're gonna find out what happens next turn. You kill him, or I kill you. <laughs> All right, that is your turn. We'll find out what happens. Right. Looking real sus. <laughs> sus. An electrical. <laughs> electrical. Doctor Spin. I got somebody oh. so bad yesterday. Oh god. Uh. Um Am I able to get Am I able to get in close with this? No, cause she's Thal is in the way. Yeah, Thal right? is in the way. Um oh, yeah. I don't want to waste a spell on this thing, but I think I'm just going to try to hit it with my crossbow. Okay. That's going to be a no. It's going to be a big no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tracks. Yeah. It'll be your turn. Hold on. All righty. Hold on, dude. My dogs are like freaking out outside. One second. Are you good? See, I told you to be fine, kid. (laughs) As an intermission, I love this. This one's fun. This This is going to be fun. This is really cool. What did you like? All of it. This is really Uh, interesting. (laughs) Yeah. No, this is great. Well, like it's, like, it's the horror it's... aspects, and yeah. so it's like you know, but it's still really cool. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah. Even oh, though you guys have almost neighbor's dog, I thought that was one of my dogs. <laughs> Even though Doctor Spin almost got mauled by a moose. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Well, no, it sounded that like one scary. of it sounded like it was being fucking attacked. Oh. Oh. That sucks. They well, good? I don't know. They're next door neighbors. It's my next door neighbors' dogs. I think it's your turn. Yeah, it'll be your um, turn. I'm going to swing on it. All right, go ahead. It'll be a 19 plus 5 for 24. That'll hit. 3 plus 5. So a total of 8. Yep. All right. Um, Dala. All right. Go ahead and try and do gonna... one arms. Okay. You're on the ground right now. Do you want to try and get up? Oh yeah, I tried to stand up. All right. So as you uh, you'll start to regain feeling in your legs, uh, you'll stumble a little bit, but you'll be able to stand up. Go. Okay. Cool. <laughs> get me stressed out. Then. <laughs> um, I with my... a little bit. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> um, with my dominant hand, I use my short sword. Okay. And uh... I got a seven. I got a 21 to hit. All right. Dr. Sven, you'll see her stand up kind of like a newborn deer, like little Wally <laughs> legs at first. And then just, uh, swing your short sword. <laughs> That'll hit. Yeah, it was a good hit, though. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> and I got five All right. uh, damage. All right. And then I go to swing with my um, 
offhand. Oh, I don't think it's I got a nine to hit with my offhand. No. Yeah, no. no. My weak uh, little arms. <laughs> Frank will be like, oh, you really got a hold of that? Never mind. <laughs> Frank, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, tracks. No. Uh, 17? No. And both miss. Okay. All right. Mr. Suss down here draws. The uh, <laughs> two gold folds will uh, tie up this one. And uh, he is now restrained. Okay. <laughs> he can fence them. All right. <laughs> so I want to, yeah. I tell Vought to... Uh, to hang him over the uh, over the edge and get him to talk. Alright. And so as he's holding him, he's obviously not looking at me. I'm going to attack this one. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, my buddy's dog apparently a cat jumped in the backyard and the dog tried to fuck with the cat and got his ass whooped. <laughs> so uh, Trex is like, before you kill me, uh, let, let me explain my situation here. Oh, man. The everlasting winds, he's made the wilderness unsafe for my kind, and the perpetual cold dulls our wits. Please, we only want a place so we can keep out of the horrible weather. We can work, but we don't want to cause trouble. Termaline would be richer. 26. Yeah, I, got, I don't want to listen to anything you got to say. Fuck the dialogue. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Why are you talking? <laughs> Why are you talking to me? Dad. Right in the neck. Yeah. I sliced the fucking neck off. All I could think about is Deadpool when he was like, <laughs> you were monologuing. <laughs> That'll hit. Okay. Yes. And then... Okay, oh. and then I guess I'll... Saunter over to this one. Wait, you got to roll damage. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna to set up it and walk away. Doing any damage. <laughs> All right, and then I'll go over and attack. Oh, oh, since he's pretty much hanging this one off the edge, can I just kick this one off the edge? <laughs> roll a strength just, check. Did just two for it. <laughs> I want to attack him. I want to attack him. Right. Oh, no, I just want to like bastard. stab him in the back and then he'll drop him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 25. Yeah, sure. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these two just, you stab them from the back, dropping this one down the hole, and you just kind of swift kick this guy in the ass and. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Dr. Sven. Uh, I tried to put on a good show. And what does he do? Yeah, skip and stab. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, I want right more there. story. I want more oh. immersion. Yeah, I'm just going to cut the show while he's talking. Yeah, that was immersion. <laughs> yeah. It's uh. definitely um, it's it, fitting to the character. Oh, my Are God. Are we back into free movement now? No. You still got no, this? No, we're fighting. Oh, the grill. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is still happening. <laughs> this is still happening. Yeah, you guys are still fighting. I'm I'm good Take over it here. <laughs> it's like, ah, they'll be fine. Is that hit? Uh, 18 will hit. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Two points of damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tracks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and swing on it. Yeah, go ahead. Think one more <laughs> what was that? 17? Yeah. Oh, hit. <laughs> Three plus five. Eight damage. Yep. 
Jesus Christ. I can't seem to roll over a fucking three for my damages right now. I've rolled fucking like three or four of them in a row. Tala. All right. I use my short sword again. So with my dominant hand, I get a 23. That'll hit. Sweet. Are you sure you're a ranger? Right? No shit. Well, I can't roll more shit with my bow for some right. reason. I get plus six with my bow. That's what I was saying. I was like, you sure you're right? Right? And eight damage. All right, that'll hit. Oh, obviously. And then, right? <laughs> um, and then with my offhand, got a fucking 23 again, baby. Yeah, nice. Was that an after 20? Oh my god! No, it was a 19, and I have plus 4. Yep. Um, and then damage is 8 again. Nice. Yeah! I can finally freaking roll! <laughs> uh, this guy will disengage and float up to the ceiling off into the darkness. Can I get an attack of opportunity on Opportunity of attack? No, because he used the disengage action. Uh, you can't disengage against me. Because of my sentinel. Oh snap! My sentinel. Oh, you look shit. at my feet. It says when you hit a creature with the opportunity to attack, the creature speed becomes zero. The rest of the turn, creature provokes an opportunity attacks from you, even if they take a disengage action. All right. Well, then yeah, you can still hit them. Sweet. Not a uh, not taller though. Yeah, that's gonna be a twenty-one. I'll just plus, watch. Uh, or not hit. twenty-one. I'm sorry. It's thirteen. That'd be eighteen. Thirteen plus five. Yeah, that'll still hit. Okay, and his movement speed becomes zero, so he can't move for the rest of the turn. And I'm going to hit, thank God, 6 plus 5 for 11. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use Divine Smite on him as well. Yes. And I'm actually going to, yeah, Divine Smite. So I roll two okay. additional D8. Oh, there's an 8 and there's a 4. So that's for another 12 damage. Oh, yeah. This guy's yes! Yeah. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, bitch. Nice. Uh, that'll be 175 for this encounter. Yeah. 375? 175. Did oh. he get it even though he didn't even fight the damn thing? Yep. And it's party XP. That's how you'll get the experience for him killing the kobolds, even though Nutty over there. Exactly. Okay. I'm cool with that. <laughs> I know damn, the kobolds are so much XP. Oh, dude. I know, right? <laughs> to level five, it's like fucking almost four. Yeah. It's almost four grand. Yeah. So that was yeah. 175 yeah. for. Their encounter and mine? No. no I've, got was... to, uh, I've got to add... What's 5 times 3? Oh, 15? Uh, yeah, 18, 18 experience. Oh, God, I wasn't far off. <laughs> 18 experience with the kobolds. Jesus 175, Christ. 175, so 193. Three, yeah. Move back down here with draws. All right. I ask him, hey, what happened down here? What ended up happening with the three? But you'll see, you'll see the one kobold. Uh, he looks like he died mid-speech, and uh, his his fake fake wings are now crumpled underneath beneath him. I want to mine. <laughs> oh, and you just completely disregard the body. What just happened? Stepped right I'm over shining. the body. I seen gold. I'm uh, like, I hey. mine. Yeah, they tripped. <laughs> they tripped. And he, he fell and he turned blue. They tripped. They right. You remind me of the, the villain off of Pocahontas right now. Oh, nice. <laughs> no. Mine! Mine! It's gonna be a 16. 14 plus he... 2. Alright. He tripped on my blade no. several times. No, she's talking about... <laughs> yeah, two gems. Two gems? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then go to the other one here. And that's gonna be a 17 plus 2 for 19. Uh, four gems. Okay. Nice. So you get and the other up. one's a four. I'm gonna. You won't get anything. Yeah. I want to just acro across. Uh, All right. Uh, Don't dude. fail. Sweet. Plus two, twenty-two. You'll be able to make it across, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna use an athletics check to get across. Or I'm gonna use. I guess I'm gonna just gonna climb across it. Just hand over hand. And then overlap my feet and just slide across it. Do a little shimmy. Yeah, a little shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake. 
twenty. Is that acrobatics or strength? Uh, it'll be athletics for you. Oh, athletics. Okay, oh, that's even better. Sixteen plus four for dirty twenty. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Damn. All right. I uh, guess I follow suit. Or if Doctor Sven wants to go first, age before beauty. I'm not going across that, darling. No. <laughs> oh, is it just to mine? I finally peer over. I'm like, ah, never mind. It's not worth it. Can I go look over this side? Yeah, you'll see another kobold in here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go talk to him. Ah, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting used to this now. <laughs> he likes the disguise. <laughs> Just bloody dagger back in the sheath. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. Just blood all blood. over him. Hey, everybody. <laughs> What's up, man? All right. So in here, um, we'll do uh, draws first. Sparkly geodes greet you as you enter this cavern. These gems are partially exposed in places sticking out from the walls like glassy shards. The floor rises uh, near the eastern wall, leaving a natural ridge with stone ramps leading up upward on the end. You will notice this is Grek. You stabbed his buddy and decapitated him in the beginning, and this is where he ran. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Tried to get away from you. Fucking you! <laughs> You're the you. one that got away. Okay, I'm attacking. <laughs> you yeah, you just yeet him right off the freaking. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Uh, this down is the here. part where you fall down. <laughs> uh, Man, do I see anything over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting to it. Um, a fossilized skull partially juts out from the east wall of this small cave, five feet off the ground. The skull has larger than normal eye sockets, a curious ridge between the eyes, nothing that would pass for a nose, and four smaller holes where you would expect to see teeth. Is it a humanoid face? No. What? Uh, so I'll Can describe I roll the skull a nature again. check or a history check to find out what type of face it is. Uh, yeah. Let me. I'll describe the skull one more time. Um, so it has two larger than normal eye sockets. Okay. A curious ridge between the eyes. Nothing that would even pass for a nose. And four small holes where one would expect to see teeth. That's Voldemort. No, that's a, <laughs> I know what that is. I need to roll to see. What, I I need to roll Arcana to see. Check. Arcana oh, yeah. check. The nineteen. I think I, I think I'm actually negative. Arcana. Hold on. No, I'm even. So it'd be nineteen. All right. With that, you will know that it is the skull of a mind flayer. Yes, I. That's what I thought it was. I thought you oh, said the no. four fucking holes, and I'm like, oh, that's where the tentacles are. I know it's mm -hmm. a mind flayer. I want to yeah. take that. I want to mine that mind flare fossil off that wall. I want to break it off the wall. I, as you um, attempt to pry the skull from the stone, like try to chisel around it, the skull will break, and <sighs> there is a crystal where the brain would have been. Oh no way! So I get I get that crystal. Uh, yes. Okay. And... So what would I call that? Mind flayer nose what candy. <laughs> there you go. Awesome, thank you. Hmm. You were over there fighting. I wonder if the old stupid. I wonder if the old Texas switcheroo for the bag would. Yeah. No, you were fucking over you there fighting a kobold. Yeah, you stupid, go this. away. You don't see <laughs> You're not gonna be fucking pulling that shit this whole fucking campaign. <laughs> I will fucking I will kill your fucking character so quick. What is your intelligence? Score? You ain't the DM. I'll kill his fucking character. <laughs> what is your intelligence score? Uh, mine is uh, intelligence is ten. All right, so it'll have a um, it requires attunement, which requires you to hold it and study it for at least an hour. Okay. Um. So. You can you have telepathy while you have this on your person. Oh shit! So you okay, speak into other people's minds. Um, it also emits a purposeful 
Purpish. Purplish. Yes. Purvish. Purple-ish. Inner light. Once you're attuned to it. Okay. And uh, so your range of telepathy, since you have a score of 10, is 30 feet. Okay. So you can communicate telepathically with within 30 feet. And a bright light in a five-foot radius and a dim light for an additional five feet. Is um, the light, it, oh, it the emits light. from the gym? Yes, it emits from the gym. Okay. <clears throat> and that's all it does. It is a wondrous item. Oh, shit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, there. It's an uncommon wondrous item, and it only could be contained from the uh, fossilized... Uh, is that what all their brains turn into? Yeah, once they're fossilized. Oh, fuck. That's super cool. I didn't know that. All right. All right. Um, I'll mine the other area, I guess. Or this little area right here. I mean, uh, um, are you guys sure you don't want to come across? I'm acroing it back. <laughs> 21. Yeah, right, I say, over. yeah, I think I'm good, man. All right, I'm gonna mine real quick. Ten for one <laughs> plus two. I know what's about plus to two. happen. He just acroed it back. Nineteen. What'd you get? Nineteen on my second one. Ten yeah. for, or twelve for my first one. Uh, you'll get one on the first one and two on the second. Okay. I'm not even gonna go into the other room. Uh, and then I will uh, athletics across. Or sixteen. Yeah. yeah. You'll, be able, you'll be able to get. You're fine. Uh. You're good. Imagine if it didn't work out. Though. I know, right? And you just fall in the fucking hole. And, die, <laughs> and that'd be fucking fantastic. Dude, that it's happened all... to me in a campaign one time, though. T Rex. All right. Um. So we have to go back to. Is anybody searched the goblin? What goblin? Cobalt. You mean the kobold? The kobold? No, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> no. I'll search him. Not even worth it. That pile of shit. <laughs> Is he the one that you like, just that like? Pile of shit, man. He has fucking off. fake wings on. Yeah, I was in the middle of an epic monologue. He's trying to explain the situation and speak for his people. He's like, "Yeah, I got a twenty-six. Yeah, yeah. He tried to tell me that they're like willing to work and this and that and stupid shit that." Probably gonna slow us down, so I just lighten the load. <laughs> I just expedited, are, expedited his, his head from his body. Yeah. yeah. Are his wings still intact? Oh no! They when he fell to the ground, he fell on his wings. Yeah, they were just like paper and wood. <laughs> I wanted them. Jesus! Fucking radio flyer <laughs> over there. I have a talking bush and paper and wood wings. Paper mache and wood wings. Yeah, can we like? Drop her off and pick somebody else up. You're the person in Comic Con that nobody wants to talk to because you just got a, yeah. weird, a bunch of weird stuff attached. Anyways, but I'm like real proud. Exactly. Let's yeah. Let's head back to the yeah. town. Yeah, we um, it. as you as you go to leave the cave, the blizzard is still currently going on. Shit. That's okay. <laughs> this is fine. All right, we'll make our we'll make the trek then. <laughs> Draws is like I have a dagger for that too. Yeah. <laughs> I roll yeah, a twenty six. I roll a twenty six on the blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> I just start cutting wind with my. Yeah. With my Does that give me advantage on sleight of hand? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Tonight's been fun. Yeah, this has been a good. This has been a good night tonight. Yeah. Uh, nope, wrong one. I went, too far. I went too far. There we go. So you guys are over in this direction. Uh, you can still. Um, you guys are only about a quarter quarter mile from the town. Um, but you know, with the bad blizzard, things, yeah, bad things could happen in the blizzard. Do we everybody, roll, okay. everybody, roll me a contact. A saving throw or a check? Oh, sh- is it con check? Uh, it's a uh, saving throw. Sorry, okay, con saving. saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Nat one, baby. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I like to hear. 
Mm-mm. And here she goes to get drugged back in town or back into the cave. Well, I think we're all fine. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are fine. Um, I'm Stalin, just happy my friends are fine. You will suffer two points of exhaustion. Oof. Cool. <clears throat> So that is to start getting some worth out of her, Jesus. Yeah, you, that is disadvantage on ability checks and half movement speed. And half yeah. movement speed. Uh, so you guys will notice as you guys traverse through the blizzard that uh, Thala's falling a little bit behind. <laughs> Fun times. They're just like sucks to suck. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Cut sleek I'll, load. I'll slow. La- I'll slow down. Fucking pirates go. <laughs> Fall behind, you live on. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Sven. You're welcome, darling. <laughs> well, the doctor's always good Good to take care of us. First first one to find us when the brain monster tried to eat us. He, he's helping you because you move like a freaking molasses on a slow day. <laughs> well, Frank, why don't you <laughs> carry us then? Oh, no, I'm very comfortable where I am. <laughs> I'm very comfortable. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm just very asking. Oh. Have some berries. Maybe it'll make you feel a little better. Yeah, oh, thanks. <laughs> I pull out well, leftover pancakes from this morning. One day. I hope we get stuck in a blizzard one day and he's the only source of firewood. <laughs> so, um, the blizzard will last for uh, even when you guys go back to the town. Um, you'll go back to the inn and meet um, Oris, the, uh, the town speaker. Okay. He gave you the clear the mine. Okay. Um, thank you for clearing the mines, good adventurers. But uh, I'll, I'll have to uh, go and inspect the mine myself to make sure it is clear. Why don't you spend a day here, take in the sights, see if anybody else needs help? Okay. Sounds good. I'm cool with that. And uh, yeah. again, you'll pay for your night at the inn. Cool. And uh, everything will be good to go. All right. So, um, does we need the- a long rest. We, yeah, we probably you need a long rest now, don't you? Because your exhaustion yeah. points. You need uh, to rest two days. Oh yeah, because you gotta cure two two to two days yeah. per exhaustion point. Yeah, or it's a long rest per exhaustion point. Well, I only have one now. Um, okay, so we're all gonna rest along. Okay, hold on. I gotta get my health back. <clears throat> um, I would like to go um to uh that um Mm. I'm trying to think. Where would I go to have the gems appraised? Um, you'll notice that there's a miners building in town. Oh yeah, I want to go to there. Okay. Yeah, I'll go as well. Go with him. Yeah. Dr. Sven, do you want two gems so you can feel like you're getting something appraised, too? Oh, I'm good, darling. Thank okay. You. Yes. <laughs> All right. How many gems in total do you have? I have 22. Okay. And then 22. two flawed acorn uh, firmaline. You already got those. Um, yeah. Right. All right. Yeah, those are 10 bucks or 20 or yeah. 10, 10 gold apiece. All right. Tala, yeah. how many do you have? Five. Okay. Uh, Doctor Sven has zero draws. Three. <laughs> All right. So, what I'm gonna Wait, do? Wait, how do you only have three? Because he stole three from. Because I every no, time I, I mined, I, every time I mined, I didn't get shit. Yeah. Oh shit! Well, you have three now. Where'd you get those three at draws? Found them. Uh huh. Found him on the ground. Oh, okay. All right. So that'll Stupid be. Stupid pile of shit. Trex had three of them. <laughs> he had cool paper wings, though. Yeah. He had three. He had three expensive gems and <laughs> shit wings. Yeah. yeah. Nine times out of ten, anytime I ever come across something like that, I'm literally going to mine because I know how expensive good items are later in the game. And it just... 
the better shit, you need a lot of money. That's why Draws and I gamble. I know. I, I made well, I so much money right time. off. I know. I right? couldn't gamble at that time. So, like, right now, I'm trying to make up for that. Like, Jeff I, hooked me up. Jeff hooked Dude, I'm not even sitting on that up. much gold anymore. Yeah, what'd you buy? I fucking did that plus two uh, rapier. Oh, that's right. Being worked on. That's right. All right, so um, let's see here. Four worth 16, so that's nine, 13. Nine, seven, eight, eight. What types of gems were they? That's what I'm rolling to find out right now. Are they all the he's same or are table. they going to be varying? They're going to be varying. Okay, good. Yeah, he's got a table he's rolling against. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah. Because I'm probably going to combine them into a fucking either armor or a fucking weapon. Well, it depends on how much you get. Right. You'd be like, yeah, you got 160 copper. Yeah. All right. So you'll find uh, five small onyx um, ore worth 22 gold apiece. You will find four gold <clears throat> silver ore chunks. Hold on, wait, worth four 20... gold silver ore or four silver? Silver, sorry. Silver, yes. Four silver. Okay. Worth, uh, worth 21. 21 gold apiece. Okay. Four jade worth 16 gold apiece. Uh, two malachite pieces were twenty six. Uh, M A C or M A L C. I'll get the correct spelling for you in just a second. All right, and that's twenty six. There were twenty six gold a piece. Okay. And then seven small diamonds <laughs> were twenty one gold a piece. And there were twenty seven. There were seven. Oh. All right, so Malachite is M-A-L-A. C-H-I-C-E. Yep, C-H-I-C-E. M-A-L-A-C-H-I-C-E. Yep. Okay. Um, Thala, you will find uh, two silver worth 21 gold apiece. <clears throat> uh, two jade worth 16. And one diamond worth 21. Uh, draws, you'll find one onyx worth 22 gold. One malachite worth 26. And one diamond worth 21. Is that everybody good? Yeah. Right. Yep. All right. Um, I would like to go back. Oh, I'm gonna ask him while we're here. Did anybody lose a tourmaline or like a like a dog figure with tourmaline eyes? I. That was the human that uh the human that fell down the fell down the uh, hole. His Does... son gave that to him. Oh shit! Is it worth anything? <laughs> Um, do they live in town? Oh no, his son, his son went off into the, to live in the mountains. No one's ever, no one's seen him. How much is, how much is each tourmaline worth? Uh, the whole thing is worth 10 gold. So each one would be five gold apiece. Okay. I want to smash the dog and take the tourmaline. In front of him? Yep. <laughs> All right. Walk out. <laughs> no. Yeah. Why? He's he's dead. It doesn't mean anything to the guy we're talking to. The, the kid doesn't know. The kid's gone. I cover Frank's eyes. I'm going to smash the figure <laughs> in and take the eyes out of it. That's fine. Okay. All right. 
And I think... Yeah, you guys will have to spend the rest of the day here. I want to go while... to the uh, blacksmith, please. If anybody right, nobody else has anything else they would like to do. Yeah. Um, Dr. Smith? still in the mining building? Uh, yeah, you're still in the mining building. There's no trace of the four that you sent off yet. I want to head over to the blacksmith real quick. Okay. I am Th uh, Thala? Just shake her I'm just yeah. yeah, I'm just following whoever. All right, cool. All right. What would you guys like to do at the blacksmith? We'll go with uh, tracks first. Um, I want to talk to him about what um, I show him all that I have with the small diamond, the um, the malachite, malachite um, jade, silver ore, onyx, mm -hmm. and the um, the two the flawed uh, firmaline. And I want to know what he can make. I want to know what the best item he can make is, or I want directions to the person who can make the best use out of these at a decent price. Okay. Um, with that, he really doesn't know what to like do with all nothing. He can, he needs more of each resource to actually make something, but he can direct you towards somebody in um, East Haven that uh, the blacksmith there can probably help you out at a decent price. Okay. Cool. 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 And uh, Mr. Draws. I want, I show him my three, my onyx, diamond, and I want to know how, how much faster he can get my blade done with these, if I just give them to him. I told you about a week, right? Yeah, I, from, uh, I think, because I'm going for plus two, so I think oh. it was like two weeks. Yeah, two, uh, two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, he can cut it down to about a week and a half and cut off three or four days for you. Hmm. For all three it, of them? Yeah, because it takes time and he still wants to make sure it works. Almost not worth it, man. Yeah, no, no. Just hang on to him. Yeah. I've been, I've been keeping a track of the, it's uh, it's been about after today you'll spent uh you'll wake up on day three of being here so you still only got i mean 12 days but i know okay works for me okay all right so um are we gonna go back and just stay in a hotel can we can we can we gamble i want to gamble um, here, let's see the history. Actually, you know what? Can I try to, uh, can I try to intimidate? Your mic cut try... out. Your mic cut yeah. out again, bud. Can I try to intimidate him? Yeah. You can. Okay. I want to, I want to take my sword and I want to tell him that, uh, I think you can move a little bit faster out the diamonds and just hit one of the posts with the uh roll intimidation for me. Alright. Shit. Fucking natural one. Or yeah. Oh, laddie, you're going to have to pull out a weapon much bigger than that to scare me. I'll be back. <laughs> uh, morning about town. Um, you'll have some card games going at the, on at the east side. Yes, card uh, games. The yeah, let's go there. <laughs> um, you, want, you want me to keep going? Yeah, keep going. Okay. Um, so you arrive at the East Side Inn. <clears throat> Several visitors are uh, at the uh, at the tables here. A couple of them are running card games, uh, and one of them will be running dice, Mister Draws. But no, no Yeti type fights or snail races here. Dang. <laughs> cards and bones. Cards and bones. Uh, what would you guys like to do? 
Draws, what you rocking? I think I'm going to rock the cards. All right. I'm going to sit next to you. Can you teach me? Remember, yeah. I've never gambled before. Yeah. So <laughs> as you guys make, make your way towards the table, you'll hear, you'll see a uh, the innkeeper. Her name is Marta. M-A-R-T-A. Okay. Um, you know, doing her daily chores around the tavern, and you'll you'll hear her sing to herself, "Ahead of winter's wind she came, the lovely woman with no name, draped in a fur-lined cloak of red, to the icy lake she fled. The wind pursued her all the same, as sure as night she's dead." Who was singing as that now? Guess, the uh, innkeeper. The beer wench. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where'd you hear? Where did she? Where? Where is that from? Are you gonna approach her and ask her? Yes, I want to know where she heard that. All right. So she'll tell you a tale of uh, fifty years ago. A mysterious woman in a fur-lined red cloak stopped at the east side on her way to Lonelywood. Because the woman was alone and frightened, the innkeepers, a pair of retired adventurers who happened to be Marta's grandparents, tried to console her. The woman gave them a ring as payment for their hospitality. Not long afterward, a howling wind burst into the inn and tossed the woman about like a rag doll. The innkeeper intervened, giving the woman time to escape. The evil wind battered Marta's grandparents' unconscious before resuming its hunt. That was the last anyone saw of that woman. And you'll see a uh, you'll see a ring draped around her neck, uh, with a piece of cord as a necklace. Hmm. Interesting. Um, How long has the Frost Maiden been plaguing this area? Uh, two years. Okay. I wonder if there's correlation to that. Um, back in the mine, mm -hmm. did I see uh, Trax pocket the gem, or was he too far away from me? He was too far away from you. Um, right, that, yeah, I would have asked. Never mind then. Yeah, I would have asked you to roll a perception oh. if it had been brought up, but I didn't think about it. I apologize. No worries. All right. Um, we'll roll a few round of bones. I have to pee real quick since I'm not gambling. Yeah, you're good. You no, know, we're playing cards. Oh, cards. Okay. Yeah. Thal, are you playing cards or you playing bones? I think Thal is probably up in her room because of that exhaustion point. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That's fair. All right. Uh, it would be D20s. Um, if you're cheating, it'll be sleight of hand. Draws, you know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Draws knows what's up. Jaws knows what's up. 26. 28. Uh, 28. <laughs> and I get a 22. All right. Before we uh, play, um, I'm going to whisper. I whispered you something, Valen, but I'm going to sit gotcha. and watch Draws play a few hands. Gotcha. Um, we'll have to roll some checks for that, but you can definitely do that. Uh, let's go ahead and just. Uh, okay. Okay. That's fine. It'll just be a couple quick checks, that's yeah. all. Yeah, that's fine. All right, how much did you end up? I forgot to ask you how much you were betting. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. I Since I I pretty much put everything over to gold. Um, okay. Since we already know the outcome, I'll just do like three gold. All right, so you end up winning. Uh, we'll roll a D4 to see how many people are at the table. Three people are uh, also at the table, so you end up uh, winning nine gold. Okay. And are you just watching him right I'm now? I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch him for a few hands. Okay. I'm gonna bet uh, ten. Ten. So what are you doing here, Ross? I don't know. Playing cards. How do you 14. play? I don't know. I don't know what he never described the game. I'm just playing cards. All right, so if you, you had to pick end a up... card game, what card game would you be playing? 
Uh, let's go five card stud. Explain five card stud then. That's you actually one of my favorite poker games. Yeah, I, you know, I know, I love five card. Oh. So, um, so you'll end up losing your ten gold. Now, can I? Who's dealing? Uh, just uh, they take turns. Okay. So am I dealing this hand? Mm, so that was two. You just sat down. You'll be dealing the next, not this hand, next hand. Okay. 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 Okay, so I lost 10? Yeah, you lost 10. Okay. So now I'm so dealing this one. You technically only lost one since you won nine last round. Yeah. yeah. But, All right, uh, so I'm dealing this hand. Uh, no, not this hand. Next the next hand. one after okay. this one. Yeah. All right, I'll do another 10 gold. All right. Fuck, 11. Holy shit. Yeah, you'll lose another 10. Okay. I rolled a fucking 12. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so you're dealing this hand. Alright. So, uh, yeah, so I just tell him I want to raise the stakes. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Let's go 50 gold. Okay. What Are you doing anything to the deck? Let me. Let me... Uh, if I roll. Oh, okay. I want to say. If I roll below. Should I roll just? Should I just roll a d twenty? Because I want to like if I roll below a certain number, I want to like use my sleight of hand to, to like it. to like change my you know like to like swap fuck out a with card. the deck and like give yeah. myself yeah. another card. Oh, okay. I don't know, I don't know uh, how you want to roll it. Yeah. So you can roll. So you're not trying to alter the deck at all. You're just mm. trying. to... Not necessarily. I'm just trying like to get a hidden, like an ace up his sleeve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. Um, you'll have to do sleight of hand and deception for that. Okay. So this is the sleight of hand for the roll. So yeah, that's eighteen. So I'll stick with it. Okay. Eighteen's pretty solid. Uh, yeah, you'll end up winning the uh, winning the pot there. Everybody rolled lower. Nice. So dude. that's what uh, 150 gold. Mm-hmm. All there. All right, I'm going to sit down. Okay. And I'm I'm going to um let me let, let like I'm going to let hit, tr uh, draw his hand over the cards to the other guy to deal and I'm going to be like, "I think I got an idea on this. I'm going to sit down and test my hand at it." Okay. Okay. That'll be uh side of uh D20 plus side of hand. Uh, all right. So I'm a. What are you betting? Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we'll have to do bets first. Um, I'm gonna bet twenty five. Twenty five. Yep. So, Draws, are you gonna? I'll match that. All right. Twenty seven. Give me one second. Let me roll for the other two, cause yeah. there's four dipshits lost. <laughs> <laughs> I think even if I rolled it, the only chance I have of beating you is I think rolling a natural tunny or you rolling low. Yeah. Val, yeah. I messaged you. Got you. Okay. So what do I need to do? Whisper uh, to me. Okay. So it's. Uh, give me one second. Sorry. <laughs> oh, shit, I just fucked my shit up. God dang it. Hold on. Everybody's screen just froze. Thank you. Fuck, I hate doing that. Is everybody back good? Yeah. Okay, no, and I'm making sure everybody's not frozen on Twitch. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, um... Here. 
I just sent it to you. All right. Uh, draws will end up winning. Okay. So we did what, 25? Yeah. Yep. So there's four people? Four people now, yeah. So that's uh, 100. Yep. I'm going to stand up. I don't want to gamble at my own buddy's table. He's okay. clearly more proficient at it than I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, okay. So uh, with that, we'll do draw or uh, I'm gonna play dice. Or, you want to play dice? Yep. All right. That'll be the uh, same thing. Okay. All right. Go ahead, draws. Do your hand around a hand. Uh, I'm only gonna do one more thing before I go to bed. Okay. Yeah. Because we're a little. I, I still yeah, got yeah, to yeah. recap. Go ahead. Thing. I know. I'm aware. I am going to. Because I know that Thala is severely exhausted and probably won't hear anything. I want to break into her room and take some uh, some of those gems. Hey, no. <laughs> All right. I had a. Well, that's if I even get to do it. Oh, uh, I didn't write what they were. I just wrote how much gold they were. That's fine. I think it was one onyx. Does Frank wake up? Frank's not gonna alert a shit. He's he's snoozing <laughs> with you. I might even just steal Frank too. All right, uh, what am I rolling? Um, because I mean I have my thieves tools. Yeah. So I mean, I can... I'm gonna ask Thala if she's okay with this. Okay. He's sleeping. I mean, if he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. Yeah. Well, no, I'm asking <laughs> as a party member. Is if he does this, are you gonna be? All right. I don't give a shit. It's All the right. game, man. Oh, it's who like, he is, honestly. I, I know, but with like player versus player, uh, mm -hmm. I, like I want to make sure everybody's cool with it. Yeah. So, all right. I got to work out if it doesn't work out. All right. <laughs> It'll be sleight of hand versus your perception, passive perception since you're sleeping. What's your so passive? Right, okay. So I've just got to beat 13. You just got to oh, beat 13. Wow. That's yeah. Good. Have to roll a seven. My, my gems. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Seventeen. All right. So yeah, you'll take your gems. How many? Well, you want to roll to see how many? Uh, sure. How many did you have? You had five, right? I had we'll five. Do, yes. We'll do a d six minus one. You get three. Okay. So we can take one of each. I had a a diamond worth twenty one gold. Something else worth 21 gold, and then something worth 16 gold. So you got a diamond and a something and a smaller something. Yes. <laughs> so that was, uh, you said a 21? It was a two 21s and a 16. Okay. Um... Trax, did you want to do anything? Yeah, I wanted to play dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go ahead and do sleight of hand. We'll do three rounds. Uh, how much are you betting on the first round? Mm, I'll bet 20 on the first, or 10 on the first one. All right. Go ahead and tell me what you roll for sleight of hand. 10 plus 2. Ten. I rolled a 5 plus 2 and a 2 plus 2, so you'll win the first, first round. So is that 30? Uh, yes. Okay. I, yes. All right, gonna roll again. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna bet that 30 this time. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. yeah, you'll win that one. All right, so and 120. Round. Yep. And I'm gonna bet 90 this round. Okay. Ooh. All right. 17 plus 2. 
you'll end up losing 30. Can I, split. is there any way to use the other thing to my advantage here? Which other thing? Can I use, uh, um, is that, is that possible yeah, yeah. here? You can, but it's in your pocket. Oh, it's in your bag. It's not. Do I have to be holding it? Or does it have to be on my person? I I guess it has to be on your person, huh? Yeah. yeah you're fine. You're good. You're good. You're good. What okay. do you want to say? I want in both of them. I'm going to put in, the, in their mind that they both rolled lower than me. All right. Uh, roll persuasion. That's how we'll do that. And that should be at an advantage, correct? That will be at advantage, yes. Bullshit. And this will be disadvantage for them. So 15 plus 3 would be 17 or 18. Uh, one guy will still take 15 gold out of his share of the pot, but you'll get the rest. Okay, so I bet 90. Or yeah. No, yeah, I bet 90. So it'll be 90, 90, 90. And he gets so, 15 out of that. So it'd be 180. Or no, that'd two, be 270 two minus 15. Yeah. Okay, so I got 255. There you go. Okay. All right. So I got a total of 255 there. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right. And then I'm going to go back and um, I'm going to go to sleep. Okay. Dr. Trent, did you want to do anything? Uh, I'm just waiting on what I sent out earlier. All right. Thala? I'm asleep. Okay. And draws you nab the gyms and went to bed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so <clears throat> you guys started off the uh started off the day in Termaline. Uh you entered the gym cave where you found several kobolds and a grail waiting for you there. <clears throat> you encountered some giant rats as well. Thala was captured by the set grill and paralyzed for a bit, but uh, Frank the Berry Bush saved the day and got the attention of Dr. Sven. Uh, after completing the uh, cave, you guys uh, walked trek through a blizzard where Thala suffered two points of exhaustion. Uh, came back to town. Now the town elder has to verify the cave, so you're forced to spend a day here. Got the gems appraised and did some gambling. And now you guys, uh, you guys, yeah. Are bed. I got a question. Girl, so old gems for me. <laughs> so if I looking up, payback, looking up the Psy Crystal in D and D Beyond, it tells me that it adds sixteen plus to my intelligence. Or is it only? Oh, I see. Is it is it specific to what my intelligence is? Yes. Yeah. Oh, error. okay. It doesn't give you intelligence. It's. Oh, I see, uh, I see, I see, I see. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Cool, cool, Power cool. based off your intelligence. Yeah. Oh, dude, and it's an equipable item. Sweet. So I have it equipped now. Cool. Yeah. I didn't know it was an equipable item. <laughs> Draws, I was going to say it's payback for that time that I lied to you about having three extra gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I can't be mad. <laughs> hmm. I think. Yeah. All right, guys. So thank you guys for tuning in to the this week's episode. Much love. Thank you guys so much for coming by and supporting the cause. We really do appreciate it. Um, hopefully we'll see you guys next week. Don't forget, tell your friends about the YouTube channel. Bring them in. Let them know what's going on. Um, again, this is a completely and entirely ran and operated by veterans. Uh, and their goal is to help uh, the 20 to a day number because 20 to a day should never happen and it's too much. Um, this is also to help out with people with PTSD, depression, and anxiety. So please tell your friends. Make sure you guys share out the channel. We love you and we'll see you guys next week. Take it easy, guys.